All right, happy Saturday. Welcome to day 62 in our uh, daily video series here. And we're going to talk about how these videos turn into social media posts. Uh, but first, before we get into that, our reminder of why we're doing these videos and what we're doing here. We are doing these daily videos asking you, the viewer, if you would be so kind as to purchase King Poppy on Amazon and leave a verified purchase review. Let us know uh, Let us know about your use of King Poppy. Um, so if you hit this QR code or... Or, uh, then it'll take you here to this page. You can you can click this button, buy KP now on Amazon. Takes you right to the Amazon King Poppy Mild Wing Seasoning product page, where you see we already have two ratings. You can be our third, and three's a magic number, right? So you, the viewer, can be our third reviewer, and you can be making amazing restaurant quality chicken wings at home. Sprinkle it on your avocado. Sprinkle on your fries. Whew, so good. Uh, we're also learning more things that more people are using it on. So we'd love for you to be our third Amazon reviewer. All right. So for today's topic, I gave an AI presentation earlier today. And in the AI presentation, I talked about these daily videos. And it occurred to me that I don't know if I've ever shared this on these daily videos, but um, this is the this is the prompt back here behind the scenes. This is the magic. This is the prompt. So what I do is I, I shoot these Loom videos and tell you about King Poppy Mild Wing Seasoning, how amazing it is, and how you should totally go buy it for nine ninety nine on Amazon. And yeah, you know, then talk about something typically marketing related with King Poppy, uh, wing seasoning or, or something along those lines. And then, uh, as soon as I finish this, <clears throat> I'll go to loom, which is just the, the software that's recording this here, showing me in the, showing me down here in this bubble and sharing my screen. Uh, so loom will make the transcripts. So I just, uh, get that transcript and I have one GPT inside chat GPT plus or pro or whatever it is. GPT plus, uh, uh I think it's chat G GPT plus, uh, it's only $20 a month. I have a dedicated GPT, which if you're interested in this stuff, we can certainly go into it more. Uh, and, um, the, uh, the script, all I do is I copy the script out of the loom paste it in that GPT and then that GPT does these three tasks. So task one, turn this video transcript into a YouTube description. Task two, turn this video transcript into a LinkedIn post. Task three, turn this video transcript into a tweet. So it'll, it'll write these three pieces of content for me and then I'll download the video out of Loom, upload it to YouTube, upload it to LinkedIn on my po my profile, LinkedIn uh, up the upload it to my Creating Value LLC LinkedIn, and uh, upload it to X, formerly known as Twitter, and I've got the text. So after I hit end on these videos, really, uh, if ChatGPT is running fast and efficient, which most of the time it is, but every once in a while it's sluggish. Um, if it's running fast and efficient, I'm really done with this in five or no more than 10 minutes after, um, after I hit end on this, on this, this recording. And, uh, now that we've done this for 62 days or after today, it'll be 62 days. I am tempted to update this. I've, I've let it run for as long as it has without interfering with it because, you get some real creative uh, variations by giving it minimal guardrails, the creativity and the, the it, it makes it volatile, but that also um, allows for creativity, right? So, so I can go back now and maybe this is a future video where we, where we dig into this, but I can see the days when it did a, what I would consider a good job or a better job of making the um the the post 
and pull the ones that I like and why I like them. And then I kind of have my little bank of examples for chat GPT and, and tell it like, you know, Hey, these, I like these three or four, uh, uh, you know, YouTube descriptions or, or LinkedIn posts or tweets. So this is, this is what we're looking for. This is what we want it to, you know, look like. And I, with this, I, I don't have to get into a lot of your role as a YouTube de, uh, description writer or LinkedIn, blah, blah, blah. You need this kind of voice. You need this kind of tone. I, I don't have to do any of that because I'm using my transcript for the initial content. So since it is just churning, or at least I've, I, I've, I believe this, or I found it to be the case because I'm just using my transcript in order to drive all this, it, you know, carries that same sound and tone. Um, so that is a little workaround for not having to dwell on that stuff so much, but there's, there's your, uh, behind the scenes for today on how to do these. I did this presentation today, which was super, uh, I was excited, really excited to do because, um, I consume so much, on YouTube and, and other Twitter and whatever. And, uh, I, I don't get to talk to humans as much as I'd like to about all this AI stuff. And, and a friend of mine got a good, good group together and we had some awesome conversation following that ideas popping up and people sharing other things that they're doing. So that was really cool and hoping to do that more in the future. But, uh, there you go. There's your, King Poppy Mild Wing Seasoning promotional video for the day. If you'd be so kind as to go to uh, Amazon and order your King Poppy Mild Wing Seasoning for $9.99 and leave a review. And this week we might be getting back into looking at Google results because there's a lot of volatility in the Google search and we want to keep an eye on how Google's first page is is changing and reacting for our uh, for our different searches, looking for the product or looking for the brand. So have a wonderful Saturday night, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye.